Um, okay, so today we'll speak about next generation sequencing data. So hopefully all of you are familiar with that already, but we'll kind of review some of the basics. We'll talk about what are some of the viral strains and haplotypes, how do we differentiate different types of data that we could find information about these aspects, and then what are some of the comparative strategies for us to analyze next generation sequencing data, and what are some of the insights that we can expect to find. Now, the US government in interagency group developed a variant classification scheme that defines three classes of SARS-CoV-2 variants. Number one, it is variant of, of interest. Number two, variant of concern. And number three, variant of high consequence. Okay, so let's talk about some examples. B1526, B12261, and B1525, and P2 variants circulating in the United States are classified as variants of interest. What that means is that we don't know whether they have a consequence on phenotype, but since they are occurring, uh, we are going to be monitoring them, right? So they are of interest. The B117, B1351, P2 